Harry Potter Quidditch Champions, what the heck's going on with it? Why isn't there more hype? That was a question one of you recently asked in our Discord, and it got me thinking, that's a really good point. Question here from Apollo said, has there been any sort of estimated release date for this game? I feel like I haven't seen much of this in comparison to all the stuff we got for Hogwarts Legacy. Well, on one hand, Apollo is right. We had so much hype and build up to Hogwarts Legacy. We speculated about that game for quite literally years, whereas Quidditch Champions just kind of got dropped in, announced out of nowhere. But I think there's a big reason that we haven't seen so much hype behind it, and it's because a lot of people have played the game. We know they just recently did a third playtest for the game, and anyone who participated in these playtests, not naming any names, anyone who played the game would then no longer be able to make videos talking and speculating about what may be in the game because they would know some of what is in the game. So if you're wondering why you haven't seen a lot of videos on Quidditch Champions from the usual suspects, probably assume that there is a very good reason for that. Now, one thing we can talk about is the publicly available information, and we can absolutely speculate on a possible release date. So as I mentioned, we know they just did a third playtest. Could they do more? They absolutely could. And I think that really depends on the type of feedback that they're getting, which I expect that's exactly what they're doing right now, is gathering feedback from all these playtests they've been doing. And I think that is also going to have a direct impact on when the game releases. You know, clearly they had at least somewhat of a playable state of the game ready to go that they felt confident sharing with a lot of people in a playtest. So if all the feedback they get from that is incredibly positive, this game is the best thing we've ever played, I don't think you need to change anything, then we could be looking at a release date very soon. Then I think another possibility would be a sort of middle ground where it's like, okay, we've got a good core game, but maybe there are some things we need to tweak here and there. It's going to take some time, maybe a couple months, maybe another year. And then there's a third option, which is one that none of us want to see. And that's the game is like in a really bad state and needs a lot of work. And it's going to go away for a couple of years and then finally come back. Hopefully that's not the case. Now, if we want to speculate when they would like to get this game out, of course, they would want to get it out by the holidays of this year. Now, if we take all those things into consideration, I think there's another possibility that we have to consider. And that's the fact that they could actually release this game as a public beta. And we see games doing this all the time now, especially when it comes to multiplayer games, because it really gives the developers an opportunity to stress test in a huge environment when you got a lot of people playing. In terms of a pricing structure, I do still lean toward this being a free-to-play game with microtransactions throughout, which I know people hear that word and they immediately want to tune out, but I do think it can be done correctly and in a way that's not super invasive to gamers in a way that's not a pay-to-win mechanic. So as far as release date predictions go, the more I think about this, I actually could really see the beta thing happening. And if that happens, we could see a release potentially as early as this summer, back to Hogwarts Day, maybe? But if they want to go the other route and say, hey, let's release this game in a fully complete state, we do not want to go the beta route, then I could see it being another six months to a year before it releases. I do think, at the end of the day, though, this is a game that we're going to see within the next year, for sure. I don't think it's going to be a Harry Potter Magic Awakens situation where it goes away for a while. Nah, don't think we're going to see that here. I still think one of the most fascinating questions is how exactly this game is going to play and how they're going to handle the rules of Quidditch. Actually, I already have a video breaking down all the possibilities. You can check that one out next on the right side your screen if you missed it. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.